Here's an exam question I put uh, recently. Find the fourth term of x plus y to the sixth power. Some of my students uh, went about the very long way by expanding this entirely, uh, multiply it out uh, six times. Now, you don't want to do that uh, in the test. That takes way too long. And since I'm only asking for one term, I'm looking for a shortcut. And let's get to it. Well, the trick lies in what's been well understood, the expanded uh, binomial forms. So let's do the fun part first. The fun part is always, to me, the coefficient part. This is where the famous Pascal triangle comes in, of course. P-S-C-L-E triangle. Okay, so if we were just to take the coefficients, copy them down, there's a really distinct pattern I'll show you in a minute and make your life quite easy. Adding those two coefficients here produce the middle term. The ones is always leading and ending coefficients. So I'm just going to box it over here. As you can see here, it should be four, and this is the leading one, and then add them together. Okay, add over here six, and then four, and one is the ending term again. As you can see, this corresponding to one, four, six, four, one. One, four, six, four, one. Okay, so fifth term is the same. You do duplicate the same. So this is how we handle coefficients. So we can pick and choose which term we're looking at without multiplying the whole thing together. Now let's take a look at the more tedious side of the exponents parts. Okay, so let's take a look at the fifth one, the fifth power one. We have a, a first term of a, a to the power, and a, b to the power. So we have a to the 5, and then 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, which is equivalent, a to the 0 is equal to 1. b is descending order, or ascending order, b to the 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And guess what? If you were just to add exponents, the submission is equal to 5. Okay, so this is the trick then to do our old problem. Now going back to our old problem, we definitely don't want to multiply this one six times. What we want to do is take a look at the coefficient using our shortcut and take a look at the exponent. Okay, so let's do the easy part first. The exponents. The x term will have x to the 6. You always start from the number they're asking for and reducing it. Okay. Here I wrote out the x and y's since x zero to the x to the zero is really just one, and we want to double check that all the submission on the exponents is indeed six. Since we're asking for the fourth term, we're gonna count one, this is the first term, second term, third term. Our fourth term is over here, and corresponding exponents is x to the three, y to the three. Okay, halfway done. Hopping over here, we're going to do the exponents, a uh, coefficient, pardon me. The middle one, when you add it together, and the ending and the beginning, I'm going to box it. Adding the two middle term is going to give you the middle coefficients. And for our case over here, we're just going to keep on doing it until we get to the six terms. I completed our so uh, coefficient uh, Pascal triangle. So this is the second power, third power, fourth power, fifth power. Here's this, our sixth power. Since we're, again we're looking for the fourth term of the sixth power, and that's this one, this row here. First term, second term, third term, fourth term is right over here. Now let me change the pen. So our coefficient is 20. Now combine those two pieces together, here's our answer. Uh, the answer for this one is going to be 20, it's the coefficient, x to the third, y to the third. Let's put it up over here, where our answer would be 20x third, y third. Okay, so that's how we do it in a quick, uh, non-disruptive way. Hi, this is Dr. Payne recording from Tucson, Arizona. Thank you for watching and hope you have a confident day. Take care.